Hello friends! So today I thought I would do a collective haul because I have been collecting a bunch of stuff over the past couple months and I personally love these videos so why not make one myself? Why not? I have everything laid out on my bed right now so if it looks a little messy that's why. And yes, I did dye my hair. Don't know how I feel about it yet. I have... I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I did have really bright, vibrant red hair before, and if you guys haven't seen what that looks like, I will link my Instagram down below. There's probably a ton of pictures on there. You guys would have seen in past videos the faded red, which I don't think looked horrible on me, especially because I have such pale skin. I think it looked great still, but it's a lot of upkeep, and since I'm moving, I won't have the money to dye my hair red every couple months, which is pretty much what you gotta do unless you want that faded red or you don't care about roots. So my mom, me, and the hairdresser decided we should just go back to my natural color. And this is maybe one or two shades darker than what my natural hair color is, but you wouldn't be able to see the roots as it grew up and this would also fade a bit as I'm in the sun. But it's really dark. I am not used to it. She also cut off a lot, whereas my hair used to be down to here. She cut off quite a bit, but that's to make my ends healthy after dyeing my hair such bright color. I'll get used to it, but I'm not right now. But let's just get into the video. I want to start this and make it as quick as, as possible. Not as quick as possible, because that would be really, really fast. But quicker than it will be. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to start off with is this. This is my MacBook. If you haven't seen the unboxing, I will link that down below. But the cover is what I love. This is a marble cover from Unique Finds. And I will link that down below as well if you guys want this cover. And if you want any reviews on any of these items, let me know in the comments below and I can most certainly do that. But that is my first thing I want to show you. <laughs> The second thing is my Erin Condren planner. I got this a couple months ago when this actually launched. This is the rose gold and lavender version. I just put a hairband over top so it would keep together so I didn't have to buy one. It just looks like that. Gorgeous. I love this. And it says, and so the adventure begins. Love this. From chapters, I got two things. I got, I got a pack of stickers that looks like this has a bunch of really cute stuff. It says stuff like yes and XOXO. has some shoes, coat hangers, arrows, a little bike, some sunglasses. It says love this, to do, remember, bonjour. Bunch of really cute stuff like that. And there are 10 sheets and each sheet has these stickers on them. So there's quite a bit there and I really love these. And I got this notepad from there. It says I literally cannot and then there's a spot that says can and can't even at the top there. That is so cute. From AliExpress, I got a bunch of washi tapes, which I will try to show you here. They are all lined up, oh my lord, right here. All right there. So minus these six right there, the rest are all from AliExpress, and you got to choose whatever ones you wanted. I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon as well. I got these Post-it notes, Post-it flags. What are these called? And they're all different colors. There's yellow, orange, green, and pink. And there's quite a few in here. I don't remember how many, but there's quite a few in here. And I want to use these for my planner specifically so I can attach things inside. I got these Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners in the 20 pack, also for my planner. I got some dish soap from Amazon. Yes, I did, because I wanted free shipping and this was cheap, it was $2. And it is the Dawn dish soap. And it's in the scent New Zealand Springs. And it does smell really good. It actually came in a plastic bag, which is really nice in case it spilled. That is really nice. And I think Amazon did a, a great job on thinking about future shipping items, stuff like that. Got a 1 8 inch hole punch also for my planner 16 gigabyte usb jump drive times two there's two in there which is really awesome because i need tons of these tons and tons of these and i also got a lexar multi-card 25 in one reader 
These things usually go around for $35 to $40. I got this for $22. I got a case for a bunch of USBs. You can hold six inside there. It has little rubber bands. Not even. I don't even places to put them. And I also got a case for my memory cards from my camera. I'm not going to show you that. There are tons of slots in there for a bunch of different memory cards. I think there's six sheets of like four or something like that. Maybe three. So love this. This is by EcoFused. And the last thing I got from Amazon are these command strips. And they're these six hooks. If you guys hear my dogs above, they're going crazy because my mom just got home. So don't mind that. There's also dogs barking outside. Oh my lord, what, what is going on? I tried to film and everyone was gone. There was no dogs and this is what I get. This is what I get. She just came in and uh, noticed I was filming. From Home Hardware, I got these command strips and these are actually made for lights to put up because I do have lights above my bed. I want to put them up, but I can't damage the walls in my new place, so got those. From Superstore, I got the Reacting for Allergies, Extra Strength, Non-Drowsy, and this is what they look like. I usually get the ones in a red box, but they were all sold out, so got those. And my mom bought me some Balea, 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 3-in-1 cleansing cloths because I always constantly need makeup wipes constantly. From the dollar store, I just got these floor protectors. These are actually for the mirror I bought, which is already in my new home, so I can't show you that. Just in case we bought these to stick behind the mirror. And from Opus Art Store, I just got a couple pairs of gloves. These are size medium. They're the cotton photography gloves. I opened this one so I could try out the size, but yeah. My hands are really small, so we tried on the small first. But my fingers are really long, so they didn't quite go down all the way in my fingers. Like, they wouldn't go down to the, what are these called? Like, web part? <laughs> and so I tried the medium, and although it's big around my wrist, because I have really small wrists and small hands in general, it fit my fingers, so. So I got those from Opus Art Store for photography. can be for art paintings, whatever you want, really. Got those. And then I went to Staples, and I got a not a bunch of stuff, just three things. I was on a mission to find a flex note binder. Looks like that is three rings at the side, but it looks like a notebook, like it's pretty much a notebook. I want this because I'm more of a notebook girl than I am a binder girl, but if I have some loose papers that I get from the professors, I kind of want a place to put those, so that's why I got this. I also saw that this sticker book was on clearance for a dollar and of course it's minions and I had to get it because I am the queen of minions when it comes to someone who is 18 years old I'm the queen of 18 year old minions of 18 year old minions no I am the 18 year old queen of minions there we go so I just got that and it's really cute it has 130 plus stickers they are so cute and they're all different on each sticker sheet and they also have these like theme things but I won't, I won't use those like scenarios I'm not gonna use those but I like the stickers so I got the stickers because it's on clearance so why not and the last thing I got from Staples is this 16 gigabyte drive it was half off I believe for eight dollars it's just by SanDisk I don't know how great these ones are I've never tried them but we'll give it a go. Like I said, I need a lot of these, so I've been kind of stocking up. My next stop was Walmart, and I got a bunch of stuff there. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Got these U by Kotex overnight pads. I hardly use them, but they're great to have just in case. I think these ones were under my sink for a while, but I know I got them from Walmart. So hardly use those, but I do use the Playtex Sport Super Tampons. Look like this. I highly recommend the Playtex Sport. They're my favorite out of all the Playtex lines. <laughs> I don't know, but these are the ones I like. These are the Always Thong liners. 
And they are specifically made for thongs, which is why I get these, because that's mainly what I wear. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna set those down there. What else did I get, girl? What else? What else did I get? I'm gonna try to go through this quickly, but people keep coming in and out of the house. I got some Colgate Optic White Luminous Mint Toothpaste. Big Soleil Bella razors. These are my favorite razors because they do have the, what are they called? What are they called, girl? The soothing moisture strip on the top and the bottom. So those are the ones I like and they're four blade. Then I got some shampoo and conditioner. These are the L'Oreal Color Radiance Shampoo and Conditioner. Basically, they are for colored hair, which I currently have and I almost always have. So I got these, they're in the red bottles. Yeah. St. Ives Energizing Citrus Hydrating Body Wash that awakens your skin and senses. Girl. That's what it looks like. And it kind of looks like, it doesn't actually say a scent, but it looks like a grapefruit and an orange and a lime and it smells so good. Let me tell you. Oh, yes. That will awaken my senses, girl. Yes. And it's supposed to be hydrating. I believe that. I'm sure it is because most of their products on this line are hydrating, unless they're exfoliating because some of them are, but most of them are hydrating and I really love it. Then I got a shower caddy because the shower at my new place, wow, okay, you can completely see me the whole time, but the shower at my new place doesn't have any spots to put shampoo, conditioner, anything like that. So I got this and I'm going to put like some loofahs on here and like bar soap, but if I have a bar soap, but mainly I have body wash, shampoo, whatever. It's like a middle compartment, so love this. It's kind of it looks like this. This is what it looks like. Check it out. Check it out, girl. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And the last things I got from Walmart are these Dove Go Fresh Rebalance 48 Hour Deodorants. It doesn't actually say a scent, but it looks like this. I think I want to say it's like Sakura Blossom, Sakura Cherry Blossom, something like that. But it smells so heavenly and this is my favorite scent like ever, ever, guys, ever. So check out these. I got two of these just to kind of stock up because I don't want to have to go to the store down there for deodorant. You know what I mean? Like if I just all of a sudden run out of deodorant, I want to be like, yeah, I got to go to the store for deodorant. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Almost done, guys. I promise we're almost done. From London Drugs, I got these. What are they, you ask? They are cable traps. So basically, they are for putting your cables through. You can pretty much stick them anywhere you want. And I thought that's really great because my cables are always a mess. They're never organized. So I got these, and they were on sale for $1.99, and they are originally $10. So girl, yes, of course I'm gonna get them. And then I was searching for a new mascara, and normally I use the testers from Sephora because I have a lot of tester mascaras from Sephora, but I wanted a new mascara. Usually I go for the L'Oreal brand for any mascara's drugstore, but I thought I would try out Rimmel for, for mascara, and this is a Scandalized Lycra Flex Mascara. And I think it's good. I mean, it was all sold out at Walmart, which is why I had to go to London Drugs. So I got that. And then I got my favorite drugstore liner. I'll show you a different liner that is like my ultimate favorite, but I did get my favorite drugstore liner and it is the Alme Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is not waterproof, but I found this is my favorite drugstore eyeliner and I've tried a lot. This one doesn't flake, doesn't come off like super easy. Obviously it is not waterproof so if you do splash water it will come off but if you like rub your eyes it's not gonna like smear a lot unless you do it like hard or you got some sweaty hands you know but this is my favorite. They don't test on animals and I, and I highly recommend this one in particular in black. So my ultimate favorite eyeliner is not from the drugstore, it is from Sephora, and it actually is the Sephora brand. It's the Colorful Eyeliner 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeliner in Black Lace. My favorite eyeliner, hands down. I got it when I was on sale for $7, and then I just fell in love. These are $15, but they're cheaper 
eyeliners at Sephora. Really highly recommend this. The only thing is, yes, it is waterproof, but if for some reason you plan on wearing it for two days in a row, because some people do that, I myself like to do that occasionally, even though it is bad for you, and you should wash your makeup off every day. I, I don't all the time. I don't all the time, but this is great. It does flake a bit. If you have a wing the second day, it will start to flake off. What I usually do is just flake the flakes off and then redraw it back in to connect it. You're not supposed to do it. Maybe you shouldn't listen to Shannon, but but that's what I like. That's this is this is what I like. This is the eyeliner that is my favorite. The Clarisonic Deep Pore Cleansing Brush Heads. This is in the twin pack, and this is I already said this is the deep pore. Um, they say to replace the brush head every three months. I've had my Clarisonic for maybe seven months and I haven't done that yet because these things are so expensive and girl, I'm on a budget so I definitely don't do that. And not only that, I know it's washing your face and taking off any extra makeup and dirt and whatever, but personally I feel if you do clean your brush head after, I feel like it could go longer for three than three months, you know what I'm saying? So, got that. Love these. I love, get out of my face there. <laughs> really like these. I haven't tried these specific ones yet, but we'll try them out and see what they're like. And then the last thing I actually bought at Sephora is the Tarte Lip Palette. This is gorgeous. I was going to buy the Naked Smoky palette, but I have so many shimmer and satin shades that I just don't want that I thought I would go for an all matte palette because I am definitely a matte girl all the way. I've been trying to use up my shimmer and satin shades, but I just find it so difficult because I always want to go back to my matte colors. So I got this palette. Oh my lord, if I can open it. I've opened it before. Girl, come on, there we go, okay. So it has a mirror that stands up on its own. I'm gonna try to not blind you guys. Stand up. And those with those shades look like they're all matte, all neutrals, they are my colors. I love neutrals. If I go for a smoky eye, it's with neutrals. I hardly ever do a dark smoky eye, but love this, gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so, so excited. So pretty. I love the packaging. Tarte did a great job. And then I just got some samples and then we're done. I promise. Then we're done. So I used a discount code. Discount code? Not discount code. What am I thinking of? A like gift code or whatever. You can get a bunch of like deluxe size products if you put in a discount code or whatever. So I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is what I use. It's so cute. It's a little deluxe size. I love the Primer Potion. It's honestly what I use all the time. So you best believe in that was the one I was going to get. And then I got the L'Occitane um, Province Essence Perfect Skin Perfector. I was trying to read the French. And I hate samples like these. I hardly ever use them, but maybe I'll use this. It's it says to use it like every day and night, but obviously there is only enough in there for like a morning. Hello. What is the point of that? How can I truly test it out if there's not enough? Okay, and then I got the Replica Lazy Sunday Morning Fragrance. It just comes in here. It's in there. I don't know if you can see. It's just a, a mini tube. And then I also got the Victor and Rolf Bonbon Perfume tester which I love this scent so much. I always go into Sephora and I always want to buy the full thing full size because I love this scent so much so I was really glad that they had it as a tester because of course I was gonna get it yes that was everything I'm sorry that it was really super long but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway if you want more hauls let me know I don't really know if you guys like hauls yet I need to learn what my new subscribers like so let me know in the comments below what do you want to see what what do you want to see from me Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video.